Hi, in this video we will see properties of square numbers. So let us first see what are square numbers. Square of a number is a number multiplied to itself. Okay, so if we say what is square of 2, it is 2 to the power of 2. This represents the square. So 2 to the power of 2 is a number multiplied to itself. So 2 multiplied to 2. 5 to the power 2, we are trying to square 5. So it is 5 multiplied to 5. 5 multiplied to itself 2 times. 4 square is 4 times 4. Okay, and similarly we can write x square as x times x. So square of a number is a number multiplied to itself. Okay, I hope this much is clear to everyone. Now let us see some properties of square numbers. To look at the property, let us first write down the squares of first 10 natural numbers. So one so what we have to do is we have to observe the square of first 10 natural numbers. And what do we see? That the square of a number ends with the digit 1. It can end with the digit 1. Fine. The square of a number can also end with a digit 4 here and here. The square of a number can also end with a digit 5. It can also end with the digit 6. It can also end with the digit 9. And also ends with the digit of 0. So what do we see that? None of the square numbers ends with the digit 2, 3, 7 and 8. Am I right? So, we see that any square number will never have 2, 3, 7 or 8 as the ones digit. This is applicable to any square number. If you do 11 square, you get a 1 at the end as the ones digit. If you do 22 square, then you get a 4 as the ones digit. If you do 25 square, you get 5 as the 1's digit. Okay, so if you do 45 square, then it is again 5 at the 1's digit. So we see that any square number will never have 2, 3, 7 or 8 as the 1's digit. Okay, so there can be a question. Is 5, 6, 7, 8 a square number? So what do we have to see? We have to look at the unit's digit. If the unit's digit of the number is anything out of 2, 3, 7 and 8, then you can outright say, no, it can't be a square number because a square number can never have the 1's digit as 2, 3, 7 or 8. On the other hand, if I give you a number, uh, say 5, 6, 2, 5. Okay, so this number is ending in 5. But that doesn't mean that it is surely a square number. It can be a square number or it can't be a square number. You are not sure whether it is surely a square number. However, if a square number ends with a 2, 3, 7 or 8, it is surely not a square number. So I hope this is clear. Okay, so this is the first property of square numbers that a square number never ends with a digit 2, 3, 7 or 8. Now let us look at another property of square numbers. Let us try to square 20. So 20 square is 20 times 20 which is 400. Let us try to square 300. So it is 300 times 300 which gives you a 90,000. 9 followed by 4 zeros. Let us try to square a thousand. So we get a thousand times thousand which gives us 1 followed by 
six zeros. What do we observe here? That whenever we square any number ending with zero, okay, the square number so obtained will always have even number of zeros. How many zeros are here? Two zeros. How many zeros are here? Four zeros. How many zeros are here? Six zeros. Okay. And we were squaring a number having one zero, a number having two zeros, a number having three zeros and so on. So whatever is the number of zeros in the number which we are squaring, the result that we obtain will always have even number of zeros. I hope this is clear. A square number if having zeros at the end then it will surely be even number of zeros. I give you a number say 1000 and ask you is it a square number? What shall be your answer? First we will look at the number of zeros because it is ending with the zeros and the number of zeros are 3. And we can never get 3 zeros because the number of zeros in a square number is always even and hence this is not a square number. I hope these two properties are very clear to everyone. The first property that the square number will never end with 2, 3, 7 or 8 as it's one digit. And the second property is that if a square number ends with zeros, then it always have to be even number of zeros. None of the square numbers will have odd number of zeros. In our next video, we will cover more properties of square numbers. If you have any doubts regarding these two properties, you can send me an email at kitty.mathacademy at gmail.com. This is my YouTube channel, Math Academy. If you have liked my videos, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.